Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Molly Pat. Up first tonight, a local pool closed for repairs is opening just in time for a hot, hot weekend. KSNT News reporter Kelly Peltier joins us live from the Oakland neighborhood in Topeka to tell us what happened and if other pools are being impacted. Kelly. That's right, Molly. The pool here in Oakland closed down just shortly after it opened Memorial Day weekend after officials noticed that the pool, the water levels were dropping unusually. Now, when they went in to see what was wrong with the pool, they found a rusted metal pipe that was leaking and it's since been replaced now. Shawnee County Parks and Rec officials say the pool will reopen again this Saturday with the rest of the pools here in the county. Now, this isn't the only local pool that's needed repairs this year. An extreme freeze in February caused a fire line in the Midwest Aquatic Center to burst in its chemical room. It cost over $14,000 in damage. Now, to prevent this from happening again, Parks and Rec is making the equipment better suited for colder temperatures. The purpose of the fire line was a sprinkler system um, to prevent fires, and since we will not be having chemicals in there in the winter, um, he's going to allow us to um, remedy the problem from here on. Parks and Rec officials have been facing a shortage of lifeguards this summer to staff all of its pools, but for now they say they do have enough guards to staff all of its pools, but are still looking for applications. Reporting live in Oakland, covering local news that matters, Kelly Peltier, KSNT News. All right, thank you, Kelly, for that update.